Holy shit. Have you seen these yet? I am so blown away by the ASICS Metaspeed Sky. I feel like the brand has finally put out a carbon plated shoe that is a solid competitor to the other ones on the market. I'm psyched. Just so you know up front, this might be a little bit long, so strap in, we're gonna be here for a while. There's a lot to talk about with this shoe. The Metaspeed Skies for what ASICS is calling the stride runner. That is the runner that extends their stride length as they run faster while maintaining a similar cadence. Uh, on the flip side, there is a step brother, step sister, uh, to the shoe coming out called the Metaspeed Edge. And that's for what ASICS calls the cadence runner. That is a runner that increases both their cadence and their stride length as they get faster. So this isn't a marketing ploy. This isn't that ASICS is trying to get you to buy two really expensive shoes. This is uh, when they were developing this shoe, they found that these were the two most uh, common types of runners. So they decided to make one that fit each style of runner. So like I said, not a marketing ploy, but uh, you're gonna wanna find one that fits your style. And apparently there's gonna be tools uh, that are gonna help you figure out which style of runner you are. Now I'm the former, so I'm taking a look at the Metaspeed Sky. Now before I get into why I think these are the competitive shoes that they are, I need to tell you about all the basics. So let's talk weight, drop, stack height, and price. Now as I mentioned at the top, this is a carbon plated shoe. So it's gonna come as no surprise to you that this tops out at the high end of the market coming in at $250. Now this isn't the first of the Meta series that is that expensive. In fact, the granddaddy of them all, the Meta Run, do you remember that one? It came out in 2015. It kicked off the high price shoe trend for ASICs. Of course, that was before the carbon plated craze and making road racing shoes lighter than air. The Meta Run came in at 10.6 ounces, which was pretty heavy for a racing shoe. The Meta Speed, the latest incarnation, is going to come in at a mere 7.1 ounces in a men's size US 10. And if you don't think that three and a half ounces in a sneaker makes a, a, a bit of difference in your running, do you even run, bro? Both men and women's versions have a five millimeter drop, which is pretty standard when you're talking about the carbon plated racing shoes. The men's drops from 33 to 28 and the women's from 31 to 26. Now, as an aside, my contact at ASICS saw my Cumulus video, you can see that right here, uh, and was kind enough to jump on the phone with me to discuss midsole stack height and measurements thereof. I decided that I'm gonna put a video together next week, the week after, if I'm being realistic, probably in June, uh, that's gonna go over all of uh, the reasons, uh, all of the ways that they measure stack height. And uh, I just think it deserves a standalone video. Where was I? Last of the lot, this is a neutral shoe. So if you like to run in a shoe with a ton of structure that holds your foot in place, this isn't gonna be the shoe for you. Although this will lock your foot in pretty well. Now to talk about the manufacturing of the shoe, what I like about this, uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Rather than start at the top of the shoe and go, uh, through the midsole and then to the outsole. I'm going to move around a little bit because I want to talk about the outsole. Uh, I want to talk about the midsole last. So I'm going to start at the top. The uh, upper is made from an engineered mesh that is 100% made from recycled material. Uh, and while they're comfortable, the material is not what I would consider soft. It is crazy thin and light though. I mean, just look what happens when I shine a light through them. The tongue in the shoe is what I've come to expect in a carbon shoe. It is super thin and unpadded. And the heel collar is surprisingly padded. And it's not something that I expected in this shoe, but actually similar to the other carbon plated shoe from ASICS, the Meta Race that came out last summer. That one's up here. Like that shoe, there's uh, an embedded heel counter uh, that's not just, a, it's just not a ton of structure to it. Uh, it's pretty uh, floppy, but it is in there. Now the outsole is made from a lightweight rubber and it's used pretty sparingly as you can see. And I'm guessing this is to save on weight. The rubber is heavier than the foam that's used in the midsole. ASICS made this outsole specifically for wet conditions in order to keep it super grippy on wet days or when you're slamming through the aid stations at races, which as we all know are, well, just big puddles after a while. 
again, it is the same outsole material that uh, was used in the Meta Race, just as you can see in a bit of a different configuration. So let me get into it. Let's talk about the midsole where the majority of the R&D resides in most shoes these days. ASICS is calling this material Flight Foam Blast Turbo. Now we saw the intro of Flight Foam Blast last year with the launch of the Nova Blast, but this is actually a completely different compound. Flight Foam Blast Turbo is ASICS lightest foam to date and delivers a super bouncy ride underfoot. How does it do that? Well, for the first time, ASICS is using a nylon-based midsole. Now, using nylon as the main ingredient gives the midsole very high compression and rebound rate, uh, which means that there's uh, a lot of energy return. So the nylon combined with the carbon plate that's embedded in it is gonna give you more of a snap it's hard to do it with the carbon as you push off. Nylon was chosen for the Metaspeed series, as I said, as it works really well with the carbon plate and the shape to help extend your stride length and improve performance. And that's the secret sauce with the Metaspeed Sky. Now, if you take a closer look at the midsole, you can see that there are actually two layers of foam. And right there in the middle where that line is, that's where ASICS embedded the carbon plate. As you can see by the way that the seam moves, the plate is closer to your heel and then slopes down toward your toes so you have more foam underneath your mid and forefoot. And then you can see that it comes uh, back up at the toes and really gives the runner that pop or that forward leaning feeling. Now you notice that the midsole includes a, the curve that was introduced in the Meta Ride in 2019. Now we've seen this used in the Evo Ride and the Glide Ride series as well. Now I'm told it's not exactly the guide sole technology, which is what they use in those other two series. The Meta Speed Sky and Edge have their own unique rocker shape, and that's really what makes the midsole different in these shoes. And obviously the the the, uh, the midsole shape, I should say, in these shoes. Now, according to ASICS, the shape itself. Uh, helps you reduce ankle flexation, allowing you to conserve more energy and run further with less effort. So it's supposed to really help you feel refreshed by the end of a marathon. Wh what? And I don't just think that's marketing speak. I really think it helps. And I think that it bears out in all of the different brands that we've seen use this technology from Saucony to Hoka and those that shall not be named. Now I'm told one of the differences between the Sky and the Edge in the Metaspeed series is that the Sky has a sharper curve to the midsole. You'll also notice that there's this flare on the lateral side of the shoe, on the outside of the shoe. And I wasn't sure if it was just an aesthetic touch or if there was another reason for it. So I asked, and here's what they told me. The midsole flare on the lateral side comes up and helps wrap the foot to provide additional stability. We found during development with our athletes that this is where they would land most frequently. So we reinforce the area with that flare. So I'm guessing it means that that's where a lot of compression happens. And again, it's all about the pop as you toe off. So what are my thoughts on the shoe? As I said up front, I feel like the brand has finally put out a carbon plated shoe that is a solid competitor to the others on the market. Now I'll admit it's a hard shoe to get in and out of and I found that I had to loosen the laces a lot in order to get my foot in, but once it was in there, it was locked down pretty well. Also, I usually go up a half size in a running shoe, but I would say that these shoes are really constructed so they are true to size. You're not gonna wanna go up a half size because your, your foot's gonna be swimming around in it a little bit. I really found that I liked the ground feel and the bounce of the midsole regardless of the stack height and I found that it has been pretty common with carbon plated shoes that the faster I ran, the better the shoe performed. Like if I was just plodding along, my shins and calves were getting overused and I was getting a little sore. But when I sped up to either threshold or tempo pace, the shoe was working. I, I, there's no other way to say this. I felt like the shoe was working more with me. Now I was a fan of the Meta Race, but I think the increased stack height and the use of the nylon based flight foam blast turbo is for lack of a better term, a winning combination. My one complaint, and it really is a small one, is really just this. You hear that? Now it's not a big deal, but a little embarrassing walking through my lobby to go out for a run. I don't know if that's the nylon uh, in the mid or the rubber in the outsole. Uh, either way, luxury problems. That's about it, folks. The Meta Speed Sky go on sale today. I put a link below so you can get a pair for yourself. They go right to the ASICS website as they're not available anywhere else right now. Now check out my video next week on the Magic Speed, which is the Meta Speed's younger, less expensive cousin. 
launching at the beginning of next week. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, get it up into the YouTube algorithm a little bit more. And if you like your reviews, race reviews, or anything endurance sports related, I'm your guy. Please hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get notified when I put new videos up just about every week or so. I appreciate you tuning in and I will see you next week.